Welcome to another Method Man episode. Today's lesson will be a special slope problem using the slope formula. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. What I always like to do is label everything on my problem. My first points labeled with x1 and y1. My second point x2 and y2. Remember the slope is labeled with the letter m. I don't know why they call it m. They should have called it s, but who knows. After that, substitute everything that you have in the slope formula. So I just wrote it right there. Negative 3 equals 9 minus r over 6 minus 3. If you simplify it, you get negative 3 equals 9 minus r over 6 minus 3 is just 3. We're solving for r. I'm just going to highlight the letter you're going to solve for. So my first move is to get rid of that 3 at the bottom by multiplying by 3 to both sides. And simplify from here. 3 times negative 3 is just negative 9. 3's cancel out. I'm left with the 9 minus r. It's a two-step equation from here. So let's get rid of this 9 by subtracting a 9 to both sides. I'm left with negative 18 on the left and a negative r on the right. Negative r is the same as negative 1r. So get rid of the negative 1 by dividing by negative 1 to both sides. You get 18 equals r, and now your problem is solved. Question 2 is a little more difficult because your slope this time is a fraction, but it's set up the same exact way. Please pause the video and try it out. I know how excited you all are to try out this problem, but a little hint. Label everything you have. That way, all you have to do is substitute. When you're done, just unpause the video for the answers. Like I mentioned earlier, it's always nice to have everything labeled before you tackle the problem. If you have everything labeled, then all you have to do is plug it into the slow formula. Once you plug it in, you get negative one-half equals six minus seven over eight minus x. Let's look at this problem a little closer. If you look at it, it's just a proportion problem. To solve a proportion, you have to cross multiply and solve. The yellow part, if I multiply that out, becomes negative one times eight minus x. And in the green part, two times negative one is just negative two. Let's simplify more by using the distributive property. Negative 1 times 8 minus x simplifies to negative 8 plus 1x. Negative 2 we didn't touch, that just drops down. The final step is just to add 8 on both sides, and you get x equals 6. Hopefully I was of help to you, and I can help you with your homework so you don't get stuck with these slow problems. They're not that bad as long as you label everything, and I, I'm going to keep saying that. Last but not least, please subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons.